Telephone conversation by Wally Swainka. The price seemed reasonable. Location indifferent. The landlady swore she lived off premises. Nothing remained but self-confession. Madam, I warned. I hated a wasted journey. I am African. So here it clearly shows that Wally Swainka has projected herself as the speaker who is. He is in search of a rented accommodation and probably the way he says that I hate a wasted journey that means he has faced this quite a number of times and this is not the only ones that he is introducing himself or mentioning it clearly because it shows that he has some kind of sad experience in the past and therefore he clearly mentions it beforehand that I hate a wasted journey and therefore I am clearly informing you from the beginning itself right from the beginning itself that i am african so he is checking if the woman the white lady uh, wants to still offer him the accommodation or not because uh, everything seemed quite perfect the price reasonable the location was also fine he was uh, okay with it the location was good enough so he had no other problem but he knew that there might be a problem that the landlady might be uh, facing later on that means the decision of even renting out to this man that is a black would uh, he she would change her decision after knowing that she he is a black so it clearly shows from the very beginning itself that this poem is dealing with racism the racism the humiliation the insult that a black is always subjected to go through by the white silence silenced transmission of pressurized good breeding voice when it came lipstick coated long gold rolled cigarette holder piped caught i was foully now he clearly says that after he revealed his identity as an african now the woman has a trouble because they haven't met each other in person there was no face to face face interaction with no face to face interaction and therefore now the first time when the lady comes to know that he is an african she has silenced after that just after the revelation has come to her and then due to pressurized good breeding this man holds his calm so pressurized good breeding means under the impression of his good breeding under the impact under the education and the culture that he has uh, received through his upbringing he holds his calm because through the silence it, it is very obvious for him to understand that what's coming from the other end yet he waited for it and then he imagines that the person who is holding the phone on the other end and he imagines her, her to be a snobbish white woman therefore uh, lipstick coated makeup long gold rolled cigarette holder because that was a, a, a symbol of high class if you uh, smoke and therefore she wa- he was imagining her too like that and then he was caught off guard because again unreasonably he has to face the insult again and that's why he said that i was caught foully so he was caught in a um, bad way again in the same round of questions that he has faced even before and that's why the question straight away came in such not sugar coated terms at all that how dark are you so how dark i had not misheard means i he it was very he was dumbfounded he was speechless he was shocked and alarmed at the direct question in which the words were put so badly so foully so insultingly how dark are you light or very dark button b button a stench of rancid breath of public hide and speak red booth red pillar box red double tiered omnibus squelching tar so all this red 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 these uh, these are just an a projection of his own red anger that he is feeling within at these questions as if a man's identity culture background everything can just be summed up in one or two words dark or light button a button b as if like a multiple choice question and it was real 
shamed by ill-mannered silence so he says that shamed by ill-mannered silence it was not it is a paradox because he was not the one who should have been shameful at this question but the woman should have been ashamed at asking such a question at all because you are reducing a person's whole identity personality question and his respect you are harming everything you are pricking somebody's uh, whole existence so this is very shameful of that woman but he in shame kept quiet because he is uh, he is ashamed of his being black it is as if as the real situation the real consequence the real world is where a black person just because of his skin color is ashamed of being black because of these cultural differences and these racist this racist practices that he has to go through every day every second of his life and the people who project this kind of ill treatment they are no way shameful and they never stop or think twice before uttering such things so by ill mannered silence surrender pushed dumbfounded to beg simplification and she is asking for simplification please simplify it nicely how dark so consider it she was just she was trying to be courteous consider it varying the emphasis and saying that are you dark or very light so no, not dark or very dark but not dark or very light so she is trying to sugar coat it revelation came you mean like plain you mean like plain or milk chocolate so he says like plain or milk chocolate you are meaning you are asking me so see in a way plain chocolate milk chocolate both are the same both are the same there is no difference so he tries to project the same to the readers and to the world out there that there is not much difference what difference does the color make at all the thing the essence the ultimate essence everything remains the same yet what difference are you asking for what explanation are you asking for her ascent was clinical crushing in its light impersonality rapidly wavelength adjusted i chose so her ascent was clinical so she was she was being very cynical in her uh, behavior and it was crushing the person's identity the person's personality who is listening to such questions so this lady is so presumptuous this lady is being so presumptuous that without even meeting a person knowing a person she is ready to throw her judgment just based on the color so no qualms about throwing her judgment on this man whereas he is being ashamed he is made to feel ashamed and he is speechless at her audacity and shamelessness at repeating the words black dark dark very dark again and again and in spite of all these uh, questions these insulting remarks and questions he still holds his calm and shows that how tolerant he is by showing impeccable manners and he holds on to his dignity and he answers her very nicely adjusting his wavelength so maintaining the same calm and poise that he has or that he had before even he maintained and said west african sepia and as after thought down in my passport he thought twice he thought again and then added down in my passport so down in my passport the the color the skin tone that is mentioned it is west african sepia silence for spectroscopic flight of fancy till truthfulness changed her accent hard on the mouthpiece so she again have so her accent sounded hard on the mouthpiece that means again some harsh terms again some harsh language some sour uh, language some har- sour words came out from her mouth as usual as she was throughout the this conversation so um, it was there was silence for some time when he had spoken that west african sepia because perhaps he he imagines that the lady w- was 
imagining and flipping through and glancing through the vast spectrum of colors and imagining what does exactly sepia mean so sepia you we all know that in digital photography we have often seen there is something of a, a brownish reddish tone towards the darker side now so she again says what's that conceding don't know what that is like brunette that's dark isn't it so he, she says i don't know what's that so can you can you explain it further can you tell me further more about your color can you be more specific so he says okay uh, can you imagine brunette like brunette so brunette is again uh, again a french originated uh, french origin word and it is something like a dark brown black kind of a color and it also refers to a fair person with dark hair or a dark skin toned person so now he sees it's like brunette so he she again again and again she is not at all thinking twice or thinking for one second before uh, speaking out the words how insulting how hurting it can be and she continues it without any emotion for the person on the other end and she says that's dark isn't it so he says not all together facially i am brunette now now he has lost his calm and then he tries to be as strict as possible and he does not want to maintain the poise that he had shown before the courteous behavior that he had shown before because now i think he has lost it and he doesn't want to keep his calm any more and he wants to give back what the woman has asked for so dealing the woman adequately in the same manner in which she was dealing this man for so long and therefore she, he says that mm, facially by face by face my face is brunette so dark brown but madam you should see the rest of me palm of my hand soles of my feet are a peroxide blonde so as if they are bleached so they are fairer they are white and friction caused foolishly madam so it's it's another foolish uh, thing that that i should mention or it is very foolish that you see friction now friction has caused something getting dark that is by sitting down has turned my bottom raven black so obviously i i would be sitting down a human always sits down and see it is so foolish that just by sitting down i have received i have uh, means i have the uh, made my bottom turn raven black so it is pitch black it's dark black it's as dark as you can imagine so he's being very cynical with this woman because uh, when you are courteous when you are when you talk respectfully to some person you are not you will obviously not share the color of your bottom with anybody but here he does it intentionally he does it because he doesn't want to uh, curse to use some use some harsh words or some cursing remarks or some slang words but just by the language that he is using in a subdued tone he is insulting and giving all his anger out and he says one moment madam sensing her receiver rearing on the thunderclap about my ears so he can sense that the woman is trying to put down the phone and he she is trying to dis disconnect it and then he says no 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 one moment madam madam i pleaded would you rather see for yourself do you want to see do you want to see how dark is my face how dark my how bleached and how fair is my the is the palm of my hand and the sole of my feet and even you can check for yourself my bottom as well if you wish to if you please do so uh, the madam obviously had hung up the call so that's how he treated the woman so now this is a very nice poem which is which humorously and hilariously marvelously has dealt with an incredibly painful distasteful topic of racism with adequate humor reducing the racist attitude to something very ridiculous so if you like this explanation then kindly hit on the like button and let me know anything in the comment any suggestion or any remark that you want from me such that i can include it in my next explanations